When you see a room like this that a designer's worked so hard on, something that you would see in a magazine or on a TV show or something like that, it doesn't happen by accident. Right. Jamie worked on this for weeks and weeks and weeks. And that's why I love that we're able to share this with people so now you don't have to make the mistakes. You can now pull a room together that looks effortless and well-traveled like this and, and manipulate the pieces in your own house. But so often in a really big space like this, mm -hmm. people feel like they have to do just one huge carpet or one big rug. Right. It's gross. Right. <laughs> what I wanted it to look as if somebody collected those rugs, which, um, yes, yeah, I do have a rug problem. So, <laughs> so I do collect rugs. But, so this would be, again, if I could have what I wanted. The lamps from Varellen are, are huge in scale. So when you think about lamps, to think about when you're sitting down, you know, you don't want the light to cast from here. You know, you need your lampshade to end up here so the light casts over your shoulder, whether it's on your book or whatever you're, you know, whatever you're doing. So, you know, I just encourage people to, to think about where the light will fall based on the size of your lamp. So you can see we kind of, that was a golden nugget. Scaled up. Dropped. That was a golden <laughs> nugget that Jane just dropped for you. But let's talk about too, so people when they're learning how to design their house, I mean, I think it's so great that you were unafraid to put these big oversized pieces yeah. on the mantle right. like that as a pairing. So this is why I love Janie's brain. Most people I think would have thought that it needed to be a lot smaller and they probably would have thought that they needed to be the same size on either side. Right. I love that you kept them yeah. slightly offbeat, yeah. big and to, the, to one side. That's right. really beautiful. Well, there's already a lot of symmetry going on with the mirrors and the consoles and yeah i just you know i guess the imperfection of it you know is really what draws your eye to it so yes at some point you know symmetry is very pleasing and everybody wants it but you have to have something a little yes. off to kind of make that make sense that's yeah. so smart what I mean, we like to look for in furniture is um you have to have enough transitional pieces that make the blending of the other pieces work. And in this case, the transitional piece was over here, the sofa, which is not the sexy choice. Nothing, white linen is pretty much what it is, but it does build a framework to bring in these personality yes. pieces. The workhorse. Yeah. No, Janie, I mean, I really do think you nailed it. And it's little details like this, this, um, you know, it looked like the petrified wood. Something yeah, like driftwood kind of thing. <laughs> yes, uh, yeah, I thought it was sort of a driftwood sort of feel. But it's everything. It's it, but it but yet it doesn't feel um, cheesy nautical, which I hate. Right, an anchor. Right, right. I know. We, we definitely. I needed to remember where we were geographically, but um, but don't yeah. feel heavy handed. No, I, I I hope not. I think so no, too. it doesn't. Yeah, it's amazing. So let's just drink up the last oh, view. Yeah, well, you killed you. it. Thank they you killed again. it. <laughs> His team is amazing, and is they're doing incredible things at Hanover Avenue. Well, we were.